Hello, I'm David Carlson, Assistant Recreation Director for the City of La Vista. Welcome to our series of videos featuring one of our many instructors who teach classes of all kinds here at the Community Center. During this time, we're closed to the public. Obviously, you can't take advantage of the fantastic programming, so we've decided to bring it to you. Each of these instructors we feature in these videos over the coming weeks teaches classes here at the Community Center. So when we're open again, I encourage you to come check out their programming and try them in person. Until then, enjoy this video and I hope you stay well. I am Tiffany Frost. I am the head coach and owner of Omaha Kids Can Run and this is Tyler, my son and my helper again for today. So today we're going to talk about um, running posture and energy direction. So before we get started with that today, I'm going to come up behind Kyler and I'm going to ask you a question. If I push him forward, where is he going to keep going? He's going to keep going forward, right? Because that's where the energy was pushing him. If I come over here, if I push him to the side, he's going to go to the side, right? And if I push you to the side, <laughs> then I'm going to go to the side. So that's why we're kind of leading that into our energy direction today. Because when you're running, um, your posture when you run um, sets the tone for where the energy goes when you're running. And so if you have good posture and good energy um, direction when you're running, you can run faster and with less effort. Okay, so the first activity that we're going to do today is um, we're actually going to run without our arms because I want you to go and do a loop. If you set up a loop in your yard, I just want you to go ahead and do a loop and run without using your arms. All right, ready, set, and go. Right. When you run without your arms, you don't have that extra energy propelling you forward towards the finish line, right? Mm-hmm. How did you, you where did you feel like your energy was going? To the ground. To the ground. Because, because your arms go energy like that, and you're like karate chopping. <laughs> All right, so now I want you to put your arms right in front like this, okay? And now this is what we call tabletop arms, okay? But I'm gonna, have you try something a little different because we're going to try something that is really hard first okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to try running with boxing arms okay so where do you think the energy is going to go to the side yeah all right so let's go run a, a lap like, with boxing punching. arms okay so do like punching. So how did it feel with boxing arms? It doesn't feel very good, does it? it yeah, feels like you have to go like... It feels like your energy is being wasted going from side to and side. you're just like doing twists. Yep. So we have two activities today that are going to help us find better running form and posture. The first one that we have today is running with sticks, okay? So you can grab either popsicle sticks. If you've got glow sticks, those work great. Even plastic spoons or something that's not sharp, um, but that you can hold in front of you kind of like this, okay? So the idea with this is that you want to find a nice tabletop arm. And what that means is that your arms are bent at about 90 degrees, just like this, okay? And when you run with the sticks, you want your sticks to be pointing forward. Okay, so if you run with those boxing arms, you're your gonna sticks go are gonna cross and you don't want that. You want yeah, to... and it can hit your neck. Yes, yeah, so you want to find... you don't want it to hit your neck. So you want to find nice, straight sticks. Okay, so we're gonna run a lap with straight sticks, okay? All right, on your marks, get set, go. Tabletop arm, sticks pointing forward. No boxing arm. Good job. All right. So that felt a lot better, right? Because our energy direction was going forward rather than from side and it went to side. Through the stick. Yep. All right. So the next activity. So how a lot of people tend to run is we tend to clench our fists really, really tight 
What does that do with your energy? Where does the energy go? It stops right here and it doesn't go forward. Yeah, it stops Because if you go like this, then the energy floats right through it. Yep, so the energy stays in your hand and doesn't doesn't make you go forward. Yeah. So what you wanna do is you wanna have a nice little grip right here. And I want you to imagine that you're carrying two baby chicks, one in each hand. And you don't wanna squish the baby chicks, right? Because mm -hmm. that would be really sad. So what you're gonna do instead is you're gonna put a chip in your hand. So go ahead, get your set up here. Hold your chips. Okay. And find that nice little gentle grip with your chips. Okay, you cannot squish the chips. Because like if this. you've squished your chips and broken your chips, you've squished your baby chick. All right? Like that. So let's go ahead and do one lap of this. All right, ready and go. Remember to keep your sticks pointing forward. All right, great job. Can I eat them? You can eat your chips when you're done if, done if you have not squished them. <laughs> All right, so that is our second lesson of the day. So, all right, so that's our second lesson of the day and for the week. Um, so just remember these drills that we did today and use a lot of those reminders when you're out running with your family or playing games and it'll make you a faster, stronger runner. <laughs> Have a great week. <laughs>